Taco Bell not only bringing its Mexican pizza back, it's also going to be permanent. It's going to be permanently back on the menu starting on September 15th. The fast food giant also says Mexican pizza, the musical, will debut on the same date. Taco Bell made the announcement on social media this week, and the musical will likely exclusively air on TikTok. Officials described the musical as a harrowing story about the fight to bring the Mexican pizza <laughs> back. Oh my gosh, so Dar Dol Dolly Parton even makes a cameo. Yeah, she shared an image of the musical script on social media. Way to go, Dolly. I'm just glad they're bringing it back. Uh, Where were we? What were we doing without a Mexican pizza? I don't think I've ever had one from Taco Bell. No. Something you can do now. We'll be back. Why is Dolly Parton blow drying a French bulldog named Billy the Kid? Love you. She's selling the wig. Fans are wigging out over her new line. Dog parents, stop what you're doing. Dolly Parton came out with a doggy line called Doggy Parton. The best brand name ever. Doggy Parton features Dolly wigs for your dog, pink cowgirl hats for $9.99, red gingham western shirts, blue denim jackets. And I'm totally obsessed. Glam Southern Belle styles. With a little Dolly flair. And doggy squeeze toys. Dolly points out her very first record was. Oh, puppy love, puppy love. They all call it puppy love. Owners with pets named Dolly are clamoring for the merchandise. I think my Dolly would rock that wig. The owner of this dog in a Maryland costume says it's time to upgrade to Dolly. Even cat owners were excited as rumors we could not confirm circulated that there are plans for a cat line called Dolly Purton, a name already claimed by this cat. One dog owner had a bone to pick. The line is only for baby dogs and husky kitties. Big dogs need love too. My girls really need the red and white gingham shirt. Doggy Parton promised that coming soon, best-selling items would be available for plus-size dogs, XL and XXL. Our favorite item includes wig and sequin dress, complete with guitar and arms to hold it. And best of all, a dolly-style bosom for your dog. Now that's something to howl about. Genie Mouse, CNN, New York. I want to see some oh. big German Shepherd or something like that with a blonde wig on. I'm definitely <laughs> getting those for my plus size dogs. A couple of scattered showers, maybe a thunderstorm uh, later on today, one or two the next few days. But it is definitely going to be heating up this week, uh, mid 90s and plenty of sunshine. That's all for now. Hey, it's been a fun morning and afternoon with you two. It has been. Mike is here, so that tells you it is an encore presentation of SA Live. What do you have? Yeah, I know you got food. What else you got? You know what you. What, what you fun know? stuff is happening? Actually, they recorded this show late last week, and I was out of town. Also. All right. So without know. Mike. <laughs> I know. And SA Live starts right now. Attention all grilling enthusiasts, we have tips from an Instagram pro to help you fire up the perfect steak. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Hello and happy Labor Day. Fire up the grill, put those white pants in storage and enjoy the last little bit of summer. Good afternoon, I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And I'm Jen Tobias, Jesse Killian for Mike and he's enjoying his time off doing something. Yes, <laughs> something fun. He's probably tinkering in his yes. workshop if I know him. He's that, he's our resident Geppetto. Yes. He's whittling something. Geppetto, exactly. <laughs> well, do you have any plans, Fiona? Oh, well, you know, just spending the time at home, you know, and enjoying that time with my daughter is probably my plan. Oh, and my husband, too. Right, yeah. <laughs> Him. <laughs> yes, yes, him too. Matt. He'll be grilling. Who am I kidding? Yes. He's going to be outside. Yeah, it's still so hot. So, yeah, enjoying the outside, taking advantage, maybe swimming and barbecue. Can't go wrong with barbecue. Yes. So, we want you to share your Labor Day plans with us at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, we know how much Mike loves trivia. So, yes. in honor of, of him, since you are filling in for him today, we're going to play a little Labor Day. Jeopardy. Okay. So I'm going to give you the answers okay. about the holiday, and then you will hit uh, your buzzer 
which um, is imaginary. Yes. Okay, and then give your answer in the form of a question. All right. Okay. Are okay. you ready? Because I believe sure. we have we'll you know four see. or five questions. <clears throat> oh, dramatic music. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Setting the ambiance here. All right, we're going to start with an easy one. Okay. Answer number one. Labor Day is the unofficial end of this season. What is summer? <laughs> Thanks for the yes, easy one. Yes, yes. We had more applause. <laughs> yes, okay, all right. Thanks for the easy one, Okay, guys. back to being serious. <laughs> Here we go. Answer number two. People like to do this for meals on Labor Day. What is grilling, barbecuing, right? Yes, yes what yes, we were just yes, talking yes, about. Yes, 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 yes. Outside okay. grilling. Yes, all right, yes, yes. yes. Okay, are you ready for the next yes, question slash so. answer okay. portion? This happened in 1882. This quizzical look means I don't know I, this I, answer. Okay. <laughs> Maybe it was the, what? what is the first Labor Day meeting? Jen, are you channeling Mike right now? Is he secretly in your ear? Did he cheat and look at these ahead of time and then text this to you or something? Because I feel like that's something he would do. I'm going to get this, him on the phone here intense. in a second. Yeah, well, yeah. I know, right? Okay. I will say. The dramatics of it all. All right. The American workforce. Okay, so you have to answer with the question. That okay. is the answer. The American workforce. Um, this is tough. American workforce. Mm -hmm. uh, Think about the holiday. Okay. Think about today. Honored. Ah. Uh, you got to answer oh, oh, it yes. the right way. Oh, oh, oh. Who is honored? Liberty? Yes. Okay, we got there. Oh, Mike, we've done you proud. <laughs> and here's a little trivia for oh, you. Oh, no. I'm Fiona not going to do a proud. Okay. Got something for you, too. Yes. Okay. Did you know Labor Day is the third most popular day of the year for grilling. Oh, see, I actually thought that was a question. I'm glad it wasn't. Okay, <laughs> yes, right behind Memorial Day and the 4th of July, and we know a lot of people in South Texas will be smoking a tender, mm. juicy mm. brisket mm. today, but what do you do with the leftovers? Adrian Davila, pit master and owner of Davila's Barbecue in Seguin, has a few amazing ideas for families. Take a look. We're all getting back into our busy routines. Like many of us, we're looking for those family meal ideas. Yes, and today we plan to not only make you drool over this delicious brisket, <laughs> pitmaster Adrian Davila of Davila's Barbecue is showing us how you can turn your leftovers into fun meals mm. for days after. This is why you I'm have drooling. to label stuff in your fridge so <laughs> yes. that your family doesn't eat it out from under you. You go, do not eat yes. this. You know Don't who you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so you make your brisket on Sunday, but you have some fun ways to make those leftovers. Sunday, you give it right? all the love and the rub <laughs> that you can give it, yes. right? All day Sunday. It takes like 14 hours to make a brisket. So all that work, you know, if you don't use it all, why would you waste it? Well, I'm going to try Shift, it. pivot, mm -hmm. boom, other things, mm -hmm. baked potatoes. Then you can you know, put the chef mom hat and mm -hmm. do like this brisket ragu mm -hmm. slash bolognese mm -hmm. with pasta. You'll be an absolute hero. Right, mm -hmm. and then also, we mm -hmm. start with these potatoes. Potatoes over here. The potatoes. I'm in charge of these. Start okay. with easy, right? The potatoes. Mm -hmm. You can even put those in the pit for a couple of hours on Sunday, along with the brisket. Chop it up next day, out the door with the microwave, heat it back up, and top it with everything that you want. Jack, Bacon bits. Is there anything you don't want on your I think I or want not everything. want? Everything. everything. You got it. You got it. Coming right up. <laughs> I for love sure. this little setup you have here. And I, the rub that you use, where can people find that? Yes, the rub is at HEB. We're very proud of it. It's my grandfather's recipe. We've used it for over 60 years. We use it on everything. And you're going to find it all over Texas on HEB. Yes. Yes. I get so happy when I say that smile. Is it unbelievable? <laughs> yes. Yeah, like oh goosebumps. Goosebumps yes. for real bumps. I love that. And obviously you have your book as well. So Yes. With a lot of my family recipes and story and story about the food and really what it's about and mm -hmm. why we cook what we cook, not just how mm -hmm. to cook it. Right. So, you know, you go into all these ideas of trying to get things, make them a little easier and the potatoes are perfect vehicle for that. How's okay. it going, Fiona? Oh, it's going good. It's going good. I, got you, I got the brisket. I got the sour cream on there. Now, your restaurant in Seguin, what else is on the menu if folks go to visit? Yeah, so the restaurant in Seguin is, of course, like classic old school butcher block mm. barbecue. We make we make everything from our rubbed, our sauce, all of our meats, down to our sausage. We've been doing that for about uh, 
60, almost 65 years. My grandfather started, my dad wow. and I continue to operate it, of course, with help from all family members. And, but you know, we spin it off with our food truck and our catering yes. and the potatoes all and the, the tacos <laughs> and the Frito pies and the burgers. Mm. They've really, really taken on their own identity. And I think in our uh, social media world with all the sharing and all the photos, yes. that was really, those things really take on, you know, its own identity. So they're yes. really getting a, a really strong foothold on our menu. I love that. And, and Fiona's done over here, but you also have a way to take your brisket and, and turn yeah, it into kind so, of a fancier meal. Yeah, you know, so you have like the family meal what people call in restaurants, you know, and then they take things and kind of do their own version of it. And so we took brisket, we're going to make our ragu sort of bolognese with Look some wine redu reduction, Ooh. some balsamic, yes. tomato paste, and the mirepoix of carrots, onions, and uh, uh, celery. Oh my goodness. Adrian. And then we're going to pair that with what you call is a mm -hmm. ribbon pasta. Okay. So it's a little thicker. Come on, oh. Chef Mom. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Chef Mom. Look at those. Dudes. Yeah, so this ribbon pasta, we're going to probably pet you too much. I feel like my son would eat this one. Yes, and, and it's my really would eat those potatoes. Going to be able to like absorb Something and take for, on this kind of heavier beef. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at and this, that's Fiona. You're going to grind this with a little bit of. Parmesan, go yes, ahead, I yes. You. Let Ma you do the your mom thing. Will take over. <laughs> and then the last oh, but not least, just beautiful basil on top. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta share with Fiona okay, also. Okay, I'll let you serve up that one. Yes, as well. here, there's four. You can taste mm -hmm. it. Okay. Let me know if you like it. What, Tell JoJo the, if you don't. Does Davila's Barbecue have, of course, uh, family meals to go? Oh, yes, we do our family <laughs> meals. It's one of our most popular items, the Davila family order is a pound of brisket, have a chicken, sausage, two yeah. choices, two sides of our 32 ounce sides, pickles, onions, bread, and sauce. Ooh. And again, all of those things that we speak of are absolutely homemade. They're heirloom recipes from my, whether it's my grandmother, my mm. father, mm. my mom, everybody gets a place at the mm. table. And of course, and that's you really, got your cookbook, right? Yes, and that's really what we're all about, is just like you come and eat at our table, you're like family to us. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, there you go. Woo -hoo. There you are. <laughs> yes, thank What's you. A, what are some of your favorite menu items that you make? Well, you know, I think the process of the sausage is always really kind of the most, it's really what locked me into the business. Mm. is because, you know, we saw this like kind of this uh, very rustic process of grinding the meat and deboning it and stuffing it. It's a long two to three day process. But then you walk to the front of the house and everybody's enjoying it and smiling yes, it. And I saw yes. how you could take something that was very rough, turn it into something beautiful mm. and creating memories. So I have to say the sausage, that's our probably our, our namesake. Got it. And, yes. and let's talk about how you get your brisket so amazing. I know you can't give away yeah. all the secrets. No, but you know, it's slow and slow. It's 250. Got it. You know, 12 to 14 hours. You got to let it reach 180 degrees, you know, and you know, my grandfather, he had this way of really doing it by touch and feel and our pits are very, very old. So we don't really have uh, the, the modern uh, sort of uh, the, the same things that other people would in today, we, but we still go by our thermometers and just yeah. the way we do it, give it time right. and the it'll get there. Way, right? yes. I love that, Adrian. Yes, for sure. So delicious. Thank Bill, you. appreciate you coming on. We love being here. Thank you for having me. All right. For more information, of course, on Adrian Davila, Davila's Barbecue, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Are you taking a Hill Country road trip? We'll show you a must-try coffee shop in John. City. But first, even when it is scorching hot, you can have an ice day at this local shop where you can get these over-the-top creations and how they're taking classic summer flavors to the next level. That's coming up next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, for this scorching hot summer, you're going to need something extra to help you cool off. And this local ice cream shop knows all about being extra. Okay, Lauren Cuevas, <laughs> and look at what she is making here today. Oh, look at that. I wonder those. If ice, ice, babe. Those, I think, are some of the prettiest mm -hmm. and just like I would agree. biggest drinks we've ever yeah. had on the show. Everything tastes better when it looks pretty. You're right. Yes. 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 You're right, because you eat with your eyes, right? Exactly, yes. exactly. Okay. All right, so we're making, of course, these big time treats with the big time summer flavors, yes. right? So we're going to be starting off with the watermelon agua fresca. Okay. We're going to be blending fresh watermelon and adding it inside of the watermelon. And so what's in that mixture? This is fresh watermelon, water, and a little bit of sugar. So and that's it. I guess you could say it's kind of healthy, right? And why not drink it out of yeah, the so container in Canyon, in. right? I yeah. totally agree. Right. So am I just taking this all the way to the top, or no. am I leaving some? You're gonna go, wanna go about halfway, halfway, and then 
Okay. We're going to be adding fruit and chips and candy on top. Oh, wow. Yes. Okay. And so, you said the best way to do it yes, is... Yes, you're going to put a little lid on top, okay. and then we could start with watermelon. I personally would choose more salty, spicy toppings, so I went with watermelon, takis, and sour belts. Okay, and then we do, we got to do the edge right now? Yes, that, so you want to put Chamoy and Lucas around it. Okay. Um, yes. this. Right there, Here yes. All right, so I just go like this? Yes. That's everyone's favorite. Chamoy and Lucas can't forget that part. Okay. It's the most important. Come around this side there. All right. And then a start bit of, what? Because that's going to start to like drip yes. on its own. So right? now you're going to put watermelon, and then if you want, you can do. Uh, I remember you like the Chinese candies, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. Yeah. yeah. Just maybe not. Yeah, yeah, we just, for him. Yeah. just add some watermelon around uh -huh. it. Okay. We did takis, we did sour belts. But it's really up to you. We customize everything, so, so your I taste buds get to decide. So you and just of course, go like this? Okay. You yes. have been busy this awesome. summer, right? You like it when it's... I like it busy. I like talking to customers. <laughs> and we have two locations, so summer is very busy. Yes, I love it, though. The, okay. The one person in South Texas that loves triple-digit pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and you're celebrating two big anniversaries this we month, are. right? We are. So our first location will be five years this month, and our second location will be a year this month. Mine doesn't look pretty. Though. No, it doesn't. I think well, we just I've been doing it for a while, right. so mine's okay. gonna look a little, little nicer. <laughs> okay. All right, and so now we need to make the pineapple. The pineapple, right? yes. So it's the same thing. We're gonna put the fresh pineapple juice on the inside of the pineapple, mm -hmm. and we have that ready for you over there on that okay, side. Okay, that is very good. good. Fresh watermelon is so so I good. Agree. So this goes right in here too. Yes. Okay. You're gonna fill that, and About then halfway again. Oh, you can fill it to the top. Oh, that okay. one will be good. Okay. Oh, right. And then we're gonna be adding pineapple rings and orange rings. Okay. So pineapple rings. Rose yes. Edges. And okay. Orange, orange rings. rings. Like that. Okay. Like this. Here we go. And then Fiona, if you would like to get a skewer and start putting strawberries on it, you got these it. little wooden sticks. Where are they? Oh, and then there. we're gonna put strawberries on it. Mm -hmm. Just a little extra decoration, a little more special. And that's just gonna go straight in the middle. So how do you come up with the ideas? Um, I grew up eating a lot of sour and sweet snacks. We did that a lot in my household. Mm -hmm. So with the business, just whatever I think would taste good, we make it, make it look pretty, and that's how we do it. Okay, and when you come to your place, I mean, you can kind of do what I'm doing. It's like, oh, do a little yes, bit of this, a little bit of that, whatever you want to put on there, absolutely right? Absolutely everything. Everything that walks out is completely different, so that's pretty awesome. It's a lot what, of fun. What is the favorite flavor? Like, so I would say watermelon is one of our most popular flavors. That's why I got this idea. I wanted to bring the watermelon juice and make it a little bit more extra. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came up with this one. <laughs> there we that go. That's pretty. Okay. All right. And have you have had any like kind of strange flavor combinations? I do. Mm -hmm. I think the strangest for me would be watermelon. Not watermelon. Uh, vanilla ice cream with chamoy. That's kind of interesting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. You say probably not, right? Yeah. That probably doesn't go. Or pickle and juice with vanilla ice cream. Also, not for me, but we'll do anything. So. Okay. And what is this right here? This is a mango nada. At I Size Baby, we customize it however you like. So you guys could just pick your toppings, put them on top, and make it look nice. Okay, awesome. Even hot Cheetos will go on there, too. Yes. Right? But I tell you what, that watermelon is so refreshing. I Boy, agree. That's great. And where it's, are you located? We are located at 2113 Bandera and 3027 MacArthur View. For more information, our website, SALive.com. Click on the Has Seen on SALive tab or the QR code there in the corner of your screen. Thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you for having me. Coming up on SA Live, get your leader hosen ready. We've got your preview of Beer Fest here at Scene World San Antonio. Executive chef Scott Ronskowski joins me, and we are here for Beer Fest, which is happening right now, we are right? Here for Beer Fest. <laughs> Why else would we be holding a beer unless we're going to have a small competition? You're going to win. You're going to win. Small competition. Okay. I give up. You win. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then we drink, right? Uh, I'm, not, I'm on Cheers. the job, so. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> okay. But anyhow. All right. So, how many beers on tap? 50 beers on 50 tap. 50 beers. 50 different types of beer, whether it be local specialty or some of your favorites, your seasonal favorites are here. 
we've got something for everybody in the beer category. And of Check. course, great German pub food, right? Wonderful German pub food. Again, something for everybody. We have our vegetarian fried green tomato sandwich with cabbage and a horseradish whole grain. I only served on a pretzel roll. Let's yes. get ready. Okay. We have our homemade apple strudel with our frozen vanilla cream. Nice for dessert. We're breaking it up a little bit for mm -hmm. the Texas in us. We've got a cheddar and jalapeno smoked bratwurst. The jalapeno says Texas, the bratwurst says German insider. <laughs> they meet in the middle like a glass of beer. Then we move over to our beer cheese spatzel, traditional spatzel loaded with beer cheese, two different kinds of cheddar cheese and slow caramelized onions all the way over to some of the favorites that are here to our pretzel wurst. It's got Havarti cheese, it's got beer kraut on there. It's loaded down with the traditional bratwurst up underneath there, served on a pretzel roll. And here's the favorite one, the kartoffel puffers, kartoffel, Car -car 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 potato, kartoffel, kartoffel, yeah, it's kind of like a potato <laughs> pancake for us. So we're gonna go with that, but it's a traditional one made with pureed onion, egg, flour, all the good stuff that you'd find inside of here to the schnitzel. This is a pork schnitzel. We shake it up a little bit. Pretzel roll. We've got arugula with a lemon dressing, uh, cucumbers and tomato on it, and that's not even part of it. Because there's even more, right? Including, this is, hey, if you want a Texas size pretzel, that's it right here, right? That's it right there. That's a big one. Look like my smile. It actually okay. does, yeah. Look at that, and what does it come with? So it's coming with two different kinds of mustard. It's got a Creole mustard, we got a whole grain mustard, and it's got the beer cheese dipping sauce on there. If you can't eat that big one, we've got smaller ones here. We've got something for everybody. We've got brew samplers for our favorite past members, and you'll get three free samples if you purchase that. We've got the $40 sampler, and then we've got a $70 sampler, which will give you a stein. With that stein, it gives you eight large 20 ounce beers inside there with the souvenir stein, only at zero. And of course, to go along with the food and drinks, there's entertainment, right? There's tons of entertainment. We got West Coast Prost. We've got Terry Cavanaugh on the Alpine Express. And we're going every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Labor Day Monday, all the way through till September 11th. All right, tell folks, of course, where they can go for more information. SeaWorldSanAntonio.com. If you have any questions, you can find the answers right there. Prost! Prost! A local pit master is here with tips to take your backyard barbecue to the next level. Get ready, it's on SA Live. <laughs> We're gonna run with that. <laughs> Welcome back to SA Live. He's been barbecuing in his backyard for decades, and now he's sharing what he's learned over the years on social media. He's all about helping people step up they're grilling game. Yes, oh, it smells so amazing <laughs> in this studio. Uh, not because of cologne or perfume. Roger Hernandez from Cooking with the Tall Boys here to help you take your barbecue to the next level. Welcome, welcome. welcome. Thank you, thank you. Okay, it all starts with the cut, okay? And you like Wagyu beef. For those who don't know, what exactly is it? So Wagyu that makes is it a, so amazing. So what Wagyu is, is it's, a, it's a breed of Japanese cattle that was bred with American cattle. So you're still gonna get the you're gonna get the marbling of the steak and also the the, the, the beef flavor mm -hmm. and the boldness of American beef. Mm -hmm. um, and you can tell, uh, look look at look at the marbling of the steak. I mm -hmm. mean it's perfectly marble, so when you cook it, yes. that that marbling is gonna melt into it's gonna render into the steak. You're gonna get the, the bold flavor of beef, the juiciness of the fat, and the tenderness. Okay. So all those flavors. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna start seasoning it yes. here. What am I using? So you're gonna use uh, Fiesta's uh, Uncle Chris gourmet steak seasoning. Okay. So you see Season to flavor, um, it's how much seasoning you like to put on your own steak. Okay. So you're going to season the front and back and also the sides of the steak as well. And how far in advance do you season when you make steak? When like I when I make the steak, I like to season uh, 24, 24 hours with 24 hours, hours in okay. advance. Okay. Yes, so I call it a dry brine. Yes, let yes. it soak up. Okay, now what what is it that they feed the, the cows that make this beef so? So they're usually grass fed. They also give them beer as well. And beer. Beer. Oh, wait, so wait, 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 beer. Grass fed, <laughs> beer drinking. Low stress. Low stress. Did they massage house? them and too? They Did they massage. go to college in Berkeley? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had their lifestyle. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. But there's something about that, obviously, that makes it taste yes. amazing. Woo, look at that. So you're gonna mm. see, you're gonna see, you're gonna cook this um, hot and fast. So okay. you're gonna basically uh, cook five minutes on each side, Is and that then correct? you're gonna yes, you're okay. doing good. Five and minutes on each side. Now, if you're cooking it outside, how what would be the difference? It's gonna be the the, the difference is you're gonna cook on on live coals, so it's gonna be hotter, so it's gonna quick uh, it's gonna cook quicker. Ah, um, got it. So five minutes on each side, and then you're gonna turn it. Um, on the edges, and so that way you can actually cook around the edges, and also the fat cap that's sitting on on the outside. Okay. So Fiona's gonna I'm watch gonna this, go but for a little bit. this okay. beauty over here, you brought some brisket. Tell us about this. So this wow. is also a wagyu brisket as well. This was uh, smoked oh. uh, 14 hours with black oak wood. Oh my goodness. Um, as you can this. tell, how juicy it is. I see that. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Look at that. I, I tell you what, you told me earlier that once you go wagyu, right? Like that's that you can't go back to that's, regular beef. Is it just the flavoring and the the flavoring, the uh, the tenderness of, of the wagyu? Um, once it hits your palate, you're, you're going to see how amazing it is. And so, if, if what what folks need to remember the most is is take the temperature, right? Yes. Okay, that's incredibly important. So when it, when I smoke the brisket, what I do is um, I'll put it in um, with the, the the barbecue pit at 250 degrees. I'll start smoking it about four to five hours. I'll go out, check the internal temperature with the thermometer. It'll be about 165 to 175. I'll pull it out, I'll wrap it with either pink butcher paper or aluminum foil. Um, at that point, I'll place it back into the um, to the pit and finish it out. Um, I'll re about five or six hours later, I'll recheck the temperature. Once it's 205, I'll pull it out and I'll let it sit in an ice chest, resting for at least a minimum of hour and a half to four hours. Minimum rest wow. for an hour and a half to four hours yes. in an ice chest. Yes. Okay. And these these are tips that people can learn from you on your YouTube, right, mm -hmm. and your yes. social media platforms, and these are the kind of things that you share because you just love this, don't yes, you? Yes, that's <laughs> correct. Um, Y'all can uh, you know check me out on YouTube and Instagram at Cooking with the Tall Boy. All right. I think we're, can we have a piece? Yeah, yes. let's try a piece, okay? And how's your shape, Fiona? Oh my God, well, it's still, it's still cooking. I mean, I'll turn it over, but I know it's probably gonna go just a little bit longer. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. And so the best tip you were saying is to use that thermometer, and yes. we are gonna take a bite of this. For more on the tall boy, just head over to salive.com. And click on, yes, the as I'm sorry, my mouth's watering. I say live tap. <laughs> enjoy it, Jen, enjoy it, okay? Okay, okay. Yes. I will, you can read. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Food with a fun twist. A donut shaped burgers. What's behind the different designs and how you can get a taste. We're cooking them up. It's all next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. It looks like a burger, a delicious burger right there, but it's, it's shaped more like a donut. And once you find out why, you're gonna, I, my mind's blown. Yes, see, it's, it's so amazing. simple, but so amazing. John Evans, owner of UPB Burgers, is here to tell us about what inspired his donut design and to show us the difference in taste. So we've got mm -hmm. a sample right here. Yep. So John, yep. tell us why these are so <clears throat> incredibly juicy. Mm. Well, whenever I was cooking burgers in the past, oh, wow. it, it tends to puff up in the center, it didn't cook evenly. So what I decided to do is put my thumbprint in there like uh, everybody else used to do. Mm -hmm. Then I said, well, I want to design something that can actually do it for me and leave me a lot of room at the end to put all my cheese and toppings at the same time. So that's what the ultimate burger press is. It shapes it, it designs it, and it weighs it out all at the same time. Now you'll notice that we didn't take just one no, bite. No, we both we took two. We took two bites knowing we still have to cook. Mm -hmm. That's how good this is. Nothing like a juicy mm -hmm. burger. That okay. is very juicy, yes, delicious. Yes. And you're gonna show us the process yeah. here. Sure, it's real simple. <laughs> so good. All we do is take the press, lay it down, and spray a little bit of nonstick spray. That mm -hmm. way, the plastic. I use a uh, saran wrap, or I even use plastic, like a, a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. Then you take any uh, kind of ground meat. I have ground beef here, and you just fill the press. Once the press is full, you don't have to over press. You just fill in the press. Once it's full, it's not only already done; it's already weighed out. And you don't have to press down. You just lift up, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you pull away the plastic, and then the, the meat never touches the inside of the press. I like what so you it said. It, it already measures out. Too, it already exactly. shapes it. Mm -hmm. So okay. if I have like six friends over, I know that I'm going to, and I have two pounds of hamburger meat. I know I'm going to get six of these right here. Mm -hmm. okay. If I have the quarter pound press, I know I'm going to get eight of them. That's what I couldn't do with my hand. I could shape them, but I just couldn't weigh them out. Because folks can buy one, or they can buy three they can buy right the there. Set. They the can whole set. The whole set, which is like a slider, a bigger burger. A slider, at the regular size, what I call the regular size, and then the big one. Yeah. <laughs> the Goldilocks yeah, of exactly, burgers is exactly. right there in the middle. 
Well, exactly. So when you want to cook it uh -huh. after you after you get it pressed, right. what's the best way to do that? Well, what I do is I take the donut side shape and I place it, place it down on the grill. Any kind of your heat mm -hmm. source like that. Get a nice sear on it and then flip it back over. When you flip it back over, what I'm looking for is the color of the juice in the center. Mm -hmm. It lets me know where I'm in the cooking process. If it's clear, I know it's fully cooked. If it's pink, I know it's medium. If it's red, I know it's a little bit more rare. Okay. All right. And of course, folks can get these burgers at your food trucks, right? Right. We decided to go ahead and let's <laughs> let's open up some food trucks in New Braunfels and let's make all of our burgers with the burger press and sell them out. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to put this in the pan. Yeah. Now. Okay. Yeah. Just turn it up. And again, it goes down right yeah just there you go down just mm -hmm. like perfect okay. perfect <laughs> why am I so nervous okay and then of course that little nook serves a purpose with the toppings right exactly so normally when a regular burger is flat when you put the cheese and toppings you bite in the burger they tend to fall off yeah. with that little concave in there it puts all your cheese and toppings that melts into the well so when you bite you tend not to lose all your toppings over there so it's pretty cool okay and so uh, and what this I right here is where here. you can go ahead and add your cheese I have cheese down there for you you can add your cheese and toppings I have bacon there, grilled onions, just add a slice. Okay. You can see there that little pocket in the right. middle, right? Mm -hmm. Turn it okay. on there. Okay. Yep. Turn Mine's on, right? Yep, yep. Just turn on yes. a little bit it, more. It feels on. Okay. okay. <laughs> it feels like it's on okay. over here. And this, of course, you created this, right? I did. Right here. I did. Locally. And only it's manufactured right here in San Antonio, right? We filed a patent on it three years ago and uh, found a wonderful family that has a place here in town that we manufacture them with. And uh, we sell them all over the United States. You get them on Amazon or ultimateburgerpress.com. It's such a great idea. You mentioned you have two food trucks right. in New Braunfels. Two food trucks right there. I have one on uh, FM 306 in Common and then one on uh, Elliott Knox Boulevard right next to HEB. So, yeah, we have two of them because the New Braunfels has grown so much. Okay. And the items on the menu, it's not just it's not just these, what we see here, Not right? just the beef. We also do ground chicken, which I think is really cool. With the Ultimate Burger Press, you can use a very lean meat like ground chicken mm -hmm. and uh, not dry it out in the cooking process. That's what this is all about. It's all about keeping the juice in there and helping it stay uh, juicy through the cooking process so it doesn't dry out. And normally a chicken does, but not, not with our ultimate burger. Oh, I noticed the burger with the egg on it. Does that, oh. This obviously helps with that too, right? Oh, you absolutely. Keep everything it nice does. The egg will fit right in there perfectly. Oh, People love, love eggs on the burger. Now, burgers. a national, was it cheeseburger day? How, how long was your line? Oh, we had a line for over seven hours. Seven that was, hours? It was, it, oh, it was an awesome. Wow. It was so <laughs> a lot of fun. I mean, it, we were tired at the end of the day, but man, it was so, so much fun. People enjoyed it. So if folks want to buy this mm -hmm. little press, how right. can they do that? They can go to Amazon, of course, and then ultimateburgerpress.com. Um, we have all the sizes on there. Uh, great and then you can Father's also, Day gift. Exactly. Yeah, great Father's exactly. and, and we're also at both of our locations. We have them displayed right out there with our seasoning and with our Ultimate Burger Presses. Yeah. Yeah, so you have your seasoning as yeah. well. Sure. Okay. We, yeah, we, I love the seasoning that we put on our burgers. So it's, uh, and tell folks exactly where they can find your food trucks. The food trucks is going to be on Elliott Knox, 840 Elliott Knox Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And then the other one is 873 FM 306, right there on 306 in Common in New Braunfels. And right. you have a deal for viewers. Oh, right? uh, an excellent deal. For somebody who wants to try it for the first time or just anybody who wants to come get a great deal, Monday, 4 to 7 p.m. is buy one, get one free. Can't That's go wrong awesome. with that. Yeah, take a friend. <laughs> have a good time. Yeah, exactly. All right. And this is delicious. Very juicy. So awesome. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much, you. Sean. All right. Don't forget, every Monday from 4 to 7 p.m., UVP Burgers has buy one, get one free burgers. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Tortillas with Dulce Vita Tequila. The drinks I'm going to make for you today are just a couple of different variations on some very classic cocktails. You're going to take your Dulce Vita Blanco. Strawberries. Top it with Topo Chico. Squeeze a lime in there. And there you have it. So now we're going to do a skinny tropical margarita using the Dulce Vita Pineapple Jalapeno Infused Tequila. Go ahead and start with your tequila. The mango in there. Top it with Topo Chico. And don't forget the lime. Stir, stir, stir. refreshing cucumber paloma. 
what you're going to do is take your Dulce Vita grapefruit infused tequila. Put a little bit of cucumber in there just for a little taste. Fresca and Topo Chico. Don't forget a little lime on top. And there's your cucumber paloma. So we're going to take the lime infused Dulce Vita tequila, watermelon, top this with Topo Chico, squeeze your lime in there, and garnish with a little bit of mint. Delicious lattes, cold chillers, and more. Today we take you on a road trip to Johnson City Coffee Co. All right, we are inside Johnson City Coffee Co. And talk about a cute setting I am joined now by the owner, Nancy. Hello, thanks for having me. Well, I have to say, it's beautiful when you walk in. I'm just taken back by all the decor. What, what are some of the customer favorites? Our first focus is the quality of our coffee. Yes. Um, we have a really strong partnership with Greater Goods Coffee. And so we can say our coffee is locally roasted, but it's nationally recognized. The big benefit that we offer here is the ambiance. Yes. We do get a lot of reviews about just how good this place feels. Mm -hmm. We were lucky to find a lot to build in that was surrounded by all these trees. Mm -hmm. And I like to think it almost feels like you're in a tree house in here with yes. the windows and the trees. Yes. We wanted a place where people could sit and stay. Mm -hmm. You know, we've got games and books and customers use all different apps, all different parts of the shop that way. The ambiance is indeed welcoming and very Texas inspired. But my favorite part, look at this, a little milk bar. Okay, what do I want here? I think I'll go with the oat. Now time to make some signature drinks. I'm here with Sam, what are we making? So today we are gonna make a hot case honey pecan latte and then we are going to make a iced desus. So we'll go ahead and make the hot case first. I just do a little bit of honey, a pump and a half of butter pecan, and then a quarter teaspoon of brown sugar. Get this espresso pulling. And they are very, very good. And the case is not overly sweet either. It's a very good balance between the espresso and the flavor. chocolate milk, a few pumps of sweetened condensed milk, and a few pumps of hazelnut. Like I said, it sounds like a lot, but with the cold brew, <laughs> yes. And it is our most highly caffeinated drink. And if you're not into coffee, they have smoothies, Topo Chico chillers. I went with the lavender flavor. All right, we made some delicious drinks, but now time to talk food, because you do have some small bites available as well. We do. We try to offer something for lunch and breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole host of pastries available for breakfast. I just put a couple samples out here. We saw, offer two quiches, bacon cheddar, and also we have a spinach tomato. And then we have all kinds of pastries. This is our cinnamon bites, our version, the donut hole version of a cinnamon roll which is really delicious. But there's scones, we have gluten-free pastries, we have a lot of good options. Lunch, we come. We have salads and sandwiches. This is our most popular, it's a turkey bacon wrap in a spinach tortilla. We offer some chips, brownies, anything you need to go with it to make a full meal for you. Okay, I'm gonna sample some of these drinks, but what's next for uh, Johnson City Coffee Co? We always have projects we're working, and our most immediate projects are food trucks, for one. Cast Iron Punk out of Blanco provides all of our food right now, and they are going to open within the month a food trailer right on site so we can serve some hot meals here. All right, well, for more information, you can head over to salive.com, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or scan the QR code on your screen. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for having me, Nancy. That's refreshing. Lavender.
and we hope you enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend. Yes, we will leave you with the performance from local musician Katie McKenzie. Happy Labor Day. Some people grow way too young before